Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today we are going to solve another interesting integral. This question from Mohad Jammu from Nigeria. Okay, the question is integral from 0 to 1 natural log of gamma of 1 half minus 6 gamma of x minus 1 half over gamma of 2 minus x over 2 times gamma of x over 2 minus 1. Well, first I am going to take this integral is equal to i and then uh, if we take the numerator we know numerator is one half minus x times gamma of x minus one half and uh, if we take x minus one half uh, as a c so we know one half minus x is equal to minus c so we can write this is equal to gamma of c times gamma of 1 minus c okay then i'm going to take gamma of c times gamma of minus c so now i'm going to divide and multiply by minus c so minus c times gamma of minus c uh, times gamma of c over uh, gamma of c okay now we know this is equal to uh, minus gamma of this is c times gamma of minus c is equal to gamma of 1 minus c here yeah. gamma of c over uh, here uh, we know also c and then we know this is equal to according to Euler's reflection formula we know gamma of c gamma of 1 minus c is equal to pi over sine of pi c so according to Euler's reflection formula we can write now this is equal to minus pi over c times sine of pi c okay then hmm, here we have gamma of one half minus six gamma of x minus one half so instead of c we can write gamma of uh, x minus one half and instead of minus c gamma of one half minus six so if we take now gamma of one half minus six times gamma of x minus one half we can write this is equal to minus pi over now c is equal to we know x minus one half so here x minus one half sine of uh, sine of pi c so sine of pi x minus pi over two okay then we know uh, this is equal to now here we can write this is equal to 2x minus 1 over 2 uh, and sine of pi x so pi, pi x minus pi over 2 we can write sine of pi over 2 minus pi x so we know this is equal to cosine of pi x so, so sorry cosine of pi x so we can write this is equal to pi over uh, 1 minus 2 times x cosine of pi x uh, here uh, 2x minus 1 over 2 so here 2 times pi here minus 2 times pi okay then uh, if you take the denominator we know mm, gamma of 2 minus x over 2 times gamma of x over 2 minus 1 and we can write this is equal to gamma of 2 minus x over 2 gamma of 1 minus 2 minus x over 2 okay then again according to Euler's reflection formula we know this is equal to pi over pi over sine of 2 pi minus 
pi x over 2 and we can write this is equal to minus pi over sine of pi x over 2 okay then our integral i uh, we know now i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 um, natural log of now in the numerator we can write minus 2 times pi over 1 minus 2 times x cosine of pi x and in the denominator we can write minus pi over sine of pi x over 2 here dx okay now we know this minus pi get cancelled and we can write now this is equal to 0 to 1 uh, natural log of here 2 times sine of so 2 times sine of pi x over 2 over 1 minus 2 times x times cosine of pi x here t x okay now according to property of natural log we can write this is equal to 0 to 1 natural log of 2 dx then uh, this multiplication we can write here plus sign so here 0 to 1 natural log of sine of pi x over 2 dx then this division so here minus 0 to 1 uh, natural log of 1 minus 2 times x dx uh, then sorry mm, then again minus integral from 0 to 1 natural log of cosine of pi x dx okay then if we take this integral is equal to j and this integral is equal to j1 and this integral is equal to j2 and this integral is equal to j3 okay now we have to evaluate four integrals so first if we take j so j is equal to we know natural log of 2 integral from 0 to 1 dx so integral from 0 to 1 dx you know x limit 0 to 1 so 1 so this is equal to natural log of 2 okay then uh, if we take j1 so j1 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 natural log of sine of pi x over 2 uh, dx then uh, for this integral i am going to take a substitution so if we take u is equal to pi x over 2 then differentiate so du is equal to pi over 2 dx now we can plug in here so now limit when uh, x approaches to 0 we know u also approaches to 0 when x approaches to 1 we know u approaches to pi over 2 so now here natural log of sine of u dx is equal to 2 over pi 2 over pi d u okay now here 2 over pi now we know 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of u very famous integral and we know this is equal to minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 now this pi get cancelled this 2 get cancelled and we will have minus natural log of okay now we evaluated j and here this is j1 and now we have j2 and j3 okay now we know j2 uh, j2 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 minus 2 times x dx okay now we can use IBP integration by parts method so I'm going to take natural log of 1 minus 2x as a first function then d by dx 
here second function we as a x so here dx then product of these two functions so x times natural log of 1 minus 2x from 0 to 1 minus integral from 0 to 1 now here x then uh, derivative of this function we know 1 minus 2 times x and according to chain rule derivative of minus 2x so we should multiply by coefficient of x so minus 2 dx okay then uh, here if we plug it 1 we know here 1 natural log of uh, minus 1 so natural log of minus 1 if we plug in 0 we know this is equal to 0 and here uh, minus integral from 0 to 1 now here we have minus 2x so I am going to add 1 so 1 minus 2x over 1 minus 2x and here we add 1 so we should subtract uh, by 1 so 1 over 1 minus 2x here dx okay then uh, natural log of minus 1 so instead of minus 1 I am going to take e to the i pi and here we know this term get cancelled and here we have 0 to 1 dx then here uh, now uh, now we are going to evaluate this integral so we know derivative of 1 minus 2x uh, minus 2 so here minus 1 over 2 integral from 0 to 1 minus 2 over 1 minus 2 x dx okay then uh, natural log of e get cancelled and here we will have i pi uh, here we know minus 1 here minus 1 half natural log of 1 minus 2 x limit 0 to one okay now we know this is equal to i pi minus one minus one half now if we plug it one here we know natural log of minus one so natural log of minus one we know i pi so here i pi okay now uh, here i pi here minus one half i pi we know i pi over two so i pi over two minus one okay this is the answer for j2 okay now then we are going to evaluate j3 so we know j3 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 natural log of cosine of pi x dx okay to evaluate this integral uh, again i am going to take a substitution so if we take t is equal to pi x then dt is equal to pi dx okay now uh, we can plug in here so now limit we know x approaches to 0 t approaches to also 0 uh, t approaches to 1 here pi natural log of cosine of pi x so pi x is equal to t and here dx dx is equal to 1 over pi so 1 over pi is a constant and here d t okay then we can write this is equal to 1 over pi uh, integral from 0 to pi over 2 natural log of cosine of t dt plus uh, pi over 2 to pi natural log of cosine of t t t okay then uh, again we know this is a very famous integral so now we can write uh, j3 is equal to uh, 1 over pi we know this is equal to uh, minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 and here uh, sorry here again 1 over pi so here 1 over pi uh, integral from pi over 2 to pi natural log of cosine of t okay now to evaluate this integral uh, I am going to take a substitution again so if we take t is equal to u plus pi over 2 
then dt is equal to du okay now here we can plug in so 1 over pi now limit when t approaches to pi over 2 we know u approaches to 0 so 0 upper limit when t approaches to pi so pi uh, minus pi over 2 so pi over 2 so pi over 2 now natural log of uh, cosine of t so cosine of pi over 2 plus u so we know minus sine of u minus sine of u uh, and dt is equal to du dt is equal to du okay now we can simplify here this pi get cancelled and here minus 1 over 2 natural log of 2 plus 1 over pi and here we can write this is equal to 0 to pi over 2 natural log of minus 1 uh, plus uh, natural log of sine of u du okay then minus 1 over 2 natural log of 2 plus here 1 over pi and here we know natural log of minus 1 is a constant also uh, instead of minus 1 we can plug in uh, e to the i pi so here natural log of e to the i pi and here we know 1 du uh, so uh, x so pi over 2 uh, plus 0 to pi over 2 natural log of sine of u, sine of u we know here 1 over 5 minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 okay then uh, here minus 1 over natural log of 2 and natural log e get cancelled and here we know uh, we have uh, i pi so here plus 1 over pi uh, i pi times pi over 2 uh, minus this pi get cancelled 1 over 2 natural log of 2 okay then here this pi get cancelled and i pi over 2 minus one half natural log of 2 minus one half natural log of 2 you know minus natural log of 2 okay this is the answer for j3 okay now we know i is equal to i is equal to j uh, plus j1 minus j2 minus j3 now j is equal to natural log of 2 uh, j1 is equal to j1 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 is equal to again minus natural log of 2 so minus natural log of 2 then minus j2 so minus i5 over 2 plus 1 then minus j3 so minus i5 over 2 plus natural log of 2 okay now this natural log of 2 get cancelled and here 1 plus natural log of 2 i pi over 2 i pi over 2 so minus i pi okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching